remember going to school and often wondering what it would be like to live in another country. But then again, I wouldn't know the language, and I wouldn't know where I'd live, and that could all be quite daunting. Now, you see on our university campuses the wide variety of students that come from all over the world. Meet Shada Karara. She's a grade 12 student at Shaftesbury High, and she's one of 39 international students completing their schooling right here in Winnipeg. Today, we'll delve into the diverse and multicultural community of the international students and the people who mentor and support them. This is Where You Live. This is not your typical Spanish class, but it's clear the students are learning the language while having some fun. Chada has made many friends this year, thanks to the welcoming environment created by Principal Catherine Birch and her Shaftesbury High School students and staff. Having now 39 students here at Shaftesbury from all over the world, how has that made an impact on the students here and staff? I think it's that whole idea of perspectives, right? And someone very wise once told me, Catherine, if we want to change the world, talk with someone who thinks differently and experience different things. And I think that's the gift of our international students and really all students, that as they are so diverse and they bring their perspectives and we get to learn from each other. And every day I see that exchange happening between students and students, adult and students, adult and adult. And that's just, um, this is what we, we want to see. Uh, what kind of adjustment did you have to make? Because not only, okay, having a new home, but also going into a new school, learning the language, learning the subjects. I mean, what were some of the difficult moments that you can now look back on? Difficult moments, for sure, the new language, because when I went here, my English was really, really bad. Like, for me to talk was really difficult. Understand was mm, pretty good, but talk was a problem, a big problem. So I had to, like, start just to talk and don't care about like mistakes or something like that, mm -hmm. just try. And I don't know, another problem was like a, the new school, because for me, I don't know, it was kind of difficult to like uh, start to make new friends, friends that, I don't know, they're different, because actually they're <laughs> really different. And I don't know, the big problem was language. And sometime I, I was like missing my family so much. like. I was yeah. feeling really bad, but I don't know. Like, I just need to call, to call them, and I'm okay. I'm totally okay, because I like my life here. And I don't know, I'm really okay, so. What have you learned about our culture? Uh, and in particular, your peers, your colleagues at school. What have you learned about Winnipegers? Um, school is really different. Like, in Italy, it's more like um, study, study, study. Here is more like... I don't know, you have a relationship with the teacher, so that's really good. Like, it helps you to study and to want to uh, learn something else, something new. Something that in Italy we don't really have. It's just like, oh, you have to study and nothing else. No here, is, here is like fun, but at the same time you learn something. So it's, I really enjoy going to school. Like, I like when I wake up and I go to school, I'm pretty excited, actually. <laughs> The International Student Program began in 1995 at Vincent Massey Collegiate with only 10 students. Now there are 228 in the program from 18 different countries attending 16 schools in our city. I've always thought of Canada as a beautiful place and I really wanted to improve my English skills in general. I happened to come to Manitoba because I, I mean I chose it because I could have like earned a, dipl a diploma here and it was a really great opportunity. The program searches for students around the world, and to date, the majority come from Italy, China, and Vietnam. We have to find the students. Uh, Winnipeg is not well known in the international market, so we have uh, a variety of, uh, of opportunities to go out and recruit students. Some are uh, operated by the Government of Canada. They have uh, uh, international fairs where uh, they're like trade shows. So instead of selling computers or cars, we go out and sell Canadian education. And we have to uh, sell Canada first, uh, then we have to sell Winnipeg, and then we have to sell Pembina Trails. 
and, uh, and that can be a challenge. We call it the MTV, and once people get their head around Canada, they think of the MTV, which is Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver. So we have to um, educate a lot of our uh, people around the world that there's places outside of those three cities, that Winnipeg is a great city to come uh, to enjoy international education experience. I love this experience. I'm enjoying every moment of it. I really love it. I'm doing, I have the opportunity to do so many new stuff, meet new people, new everything, new places, new culture, new language. I'm learning English like I'm becoming more and more proud of my English and my, my relationships here. I love this experience. I'm, I don't know, I'm living like I think this is our, the best five months of my life and, then, and I'm enjoying every single moment of it. My students are here because they have opportunity to take courses that they wouldn't otherwise have a chance to take. We are looking forward to welcoming uh, an international student from Japan in the coming school year to take our Hockey Skills Academy course. And it it's just boggles their mind when I told the teachers, like, is someone coming from Japan to learn how to play hockey with you, how amazing it is. So it's very, very diverse and, and very dynamic in how we structure our classes for our students. How will, at a continued growth of international students, how will that fit into the picture in the bigger scheme of education? Well, I think it's the, the goal of it to, for all of us to, to think of this world in a global sense, right? To see that is is one world, is is one population, is one us, one of us. And so it's just that whole idea of that is natural. It's natural to be to exist in a in a space and in a school where you just see all the different different cultures, different practices and different opinions and perceptions and, and I think that is the gist of, of education is to, to see that, to see ourselves all as global citizens. I was talking to my friend yesterday and I said Winnipeg is like a family so when you're here you say oh my god it's a bit boring sometimes but when you come back to your own country you will say I miss Winnipeg so much so that's, that's really nice. I will bring with me probably Winnipeg and the people I met here. And the Naturel School Division has one of the largest groups of ISP students in Central Canada. And an important component is the homestay program. There is a list of requirements and background checks to complete before potential homestay parents can welcome an international student into their home. And it's interesting now because society and culture has changed. A long time ago, and I would date myself 60s, 70s, you know, the average home was mom father, sister, brother, maybe a pet, and that was the ideal model of a family, has the international student program homestay kind of evolved too as well? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and that's a very important part that, because some people might be watching and saying, oh, I'd like to be a homestay family, but I'm not Mr. and Mrs. Jones with two children and a dog. Uh, we educate our, uh, our, we have agents around the world who recruit uh, on our behalf when we're not there, so always looking out for students who want to study in Winnipeg and in Pembina Trails. And part of our training of our agents is to educate them what a typical Canadian homestay is and is not. Uh, and it's not Mr. and Mrs. Jones with the two dog or the dog and the two children. Uh, it's a single mom, it's a single dad. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, opportunities. So uh, if somebody's out there interested in being a homestay, don't say no, I don't think I can do it because no, uh, give us a call. Uh, we can certainly, uh, uh, certainly consider uh, anybody. Coming up, we take an inside look at home life for international students.